Hello, this is Aaron or Black Hill, and this is a commentary about my Eurogamer experience. But with that, I am going to be talking about like what I saw, what I did at Eurogamer. I am going to talk about the new way of doing things, like what I'm going to do personally over the next year, hopefully to get me send more thub and um, be a bit more popular on YouTube. But that's all just to do with like how lucky I am. But it's really what me and Jacob were having a conversation about like for ages. What we need to change and everything. Um, and the new series which I am going to include in the next month I believe which is just going to be called Up Your Game which is just like based on Call of Duty how to improve your um, games and if you struggle getting more kills and deaths you know it's that sort of thing but anyway what I saw at Eurogamer right so first off it was a five hour journey there and back on a bus because um, I live in York and the Eurogamer was at London but to be honest that really didn't matter the freaking Eurogamer was awesome and yeah I went around I thought hmm there's a lot of people we're not going to get on much but turns out there's some really good games like Crisis 3 for instance that didn't really have much people playing on it I mean they had like quite a few on a th quite a few people on it like uh, t playing PC version but not on the Xbox version I mean me personally I don't play Xbox but the game mode which they set on the actual um, like setup is um, called Hunter, but that that game was pretty damn decent. It's like Predator, basically. You get you got like a few people which are like invisible and they have a bow and you shoot people and basically they have the people that are being hunted have no armor. They can't go invisible. They just have to basically shoot the people which are invisible, which are basically Predator. So. It's a pretty decent game. I mean, I might get it myself, really, um, along with Black Ops 2, and that's also a good thing. Um, I got to check out Black Ops 2. I didn't get, to, I didn't manage to play it, but I managed to get to get to see it because I'm not 18. But what I got to do was I got to sneak in. Not many people in my class got to be able to sneak into um, the 18s bit, but somehow I managed it. And um, just, just let me say this first: I met Extras first. Because I've I sneaked in once, I met X Jaws and had a conversation with him, and damn, he's a good guy. Um, I mean, Tom will be hating me for saying this, but man, he's a freaking awesome guy. A right good conversation with him. I wished him luck with the, the controller, the series that he's involved with, um, and like wished him well. Yeah, and um, got on my way. And I watched a bit of Black Ops 2 gameplay and went out of the 18s area. I then got to go in again, like sneak, snuck in again, and I met Syndicate and KSI, both at the same time, got a picture of them, which I will show in the gameplay, so, and just to just show a bit of proof, but, oh my god, they are all sweet guys, I mean, I can't believe I met, met them all, I'm still having a hype about it, really, <laughs> but, like, on to Black Ops 2, um, the, the gameplay itself was pretty decent, the whole kill streaks, the whole perks, Everything about it, it was all so much different to how Call of Duty has ever been in before. I mean, I mean, of course, the the snipers have now been included. Well, they always have been included with them um, quick scoping, but it is a bit a bit more difficult to quick scope. But it is still possible. I mean, I saw some people doing quick scoping, and they pretty much got killed every time. But that's because they were probably practicing for ages. But um, yeah, that sort of thing, um, and really black ops it just really looked a decent game i mean the graphics were brilliant the whole like layout of the like score wards and everything was completely different it was a completely changed game if i got to play on it um, like i can tell you i would have been shit for the first time obviously because it's like completely new to me um even though it's completely the same game as call of duty Marvel Warfare 3 and everything but you know uh. So I'll be on about the new way of doing things, but this will be a short bit because uh, I need to get everything included in the commentary. But uh, new way of um, doing things about um, YouTube. I need to be more precise, like with my words. I need to be more quicker, like I am now. I need to, I need to t basically take less. I mean, more than ten minutes on each commentary. I need to make sure I'm planning out each sort of thing. I need to sort of bring out some humour into it. I mean, I'm not a very humorous guy. I'm not like the funniest guy in the world, but. I will try and be a bit more humorous. I want to be able to entertain people and to watch my videos to gain more subs. Of course, everyone wants to gain more subs, but it's the personality which counts. And I'm trying to improve my personality. I need to be I need to be a bit more like calmer about everything. I need to be 
a lot more confident really. I need to, you know, if, if I start to be more active with the community, maybe I'll be, like, I'll be able to get more friends, like, on YouTube and stuff like that, you know, never know. It's going to go out through 2013, hopefully I'll be able to earn a few more subs, maybe get up to 500 subs, that's my aim by the end of 2013. I want to be able to get a partnership within the next two years, but the thing is that could be very unlikely. Right, so the new series I'm going to start in the next month is called Up Your Game, I mentioned this before, and it is going to be about one like up in your game as I just said it's going to be two how to stop yourself from making mistakes three improving your gameplays like getting more kills way more kills um, it's going to be including my gameplays of me playing shitly and um, that's going to be a bit of a change I don't want to really show people how shit I play but it's going to be part of how the series is going to work so it's got to, it's going to be a bit more um, fun for you guys to take the piss out of me yeah, <laughs> but it's basically whenever I make a mistake in the game, I will announce it in the commentary, and I will try and help or advise people what to do. I will try and um, just try and help people in general. I'm doing an extra motive here, <laughs> but yeah, it's that sort of thing. I will sort of get that thing going. Um, I will basically get that all sorted for the first episode and you'll hopefully enjoy it. Right, hope you enjoy the commentary. I will see you later. Like, rate, and subscribe, please. Bros. Hello again, guys. I bet you were thinking, oh, God, he's gone. Yes. But never mind. Here's the pictures, like I promised, um, right at the end of the gameplay, and it is showing me, KSI, and Syndicate, and another picture with me in X-Jars. Hope you enjoy the commentary. Like, rate, and subscribe.